Megan, and this is my husband, Bo, and our daughter, Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Got it? Got it. I, I was going to say, mine's not super tight. The other side's not on the cardboard. What's in there, Beckett? Huh? What's in there? What is it? Hmm? What's in there? Um, baby grid. How many? Um, two. There's just two? Two. Six. <laughs> We are using this insulation foam board as an in-ground barrier. It's 12 inches wide and will be screwed into the walls. Once this is installed, Bo will be able to finish backfilling and prepping the interior floor. Probably a good job to have a mask on. Here, let me show you a little trick. So you're gonna have to cut this, right? So if you go like this, if you use this and stick it up against there, mm -hmm. there's your ruler. So 17 and 5 eighths. Yeah. And just come over here. Put that on 17 and 5 eighths. There's your line. Oh. Huh. No. All right then. No tape needed. I thought you were going to give me a trick on how to shovel better. <laughs> it just sucks. And earlier. Sure. Thank you. Do you want anything, I do. Hold Our on. water girl. Hold on. He's such a sweet baby. Hi, Chickadee. Why do you make it? Uh, um, so we can lay these the insulation. Why are you trying to lay the insulation? The, <laughs> the insulation? Yeah. We have to put it down so that we can finish backfilling with all the dirt. Mm. Then we can do our plumbing and lay concrete. Okay. Then we'll have real floors in here okay. instead of just dirt. What do you think? So can we just you just want to cut it off right now? Right there? And then start No, because I still want it here. Oh, gotcha. And I can trim it later with a multi-tool. A multi-tool? A multi-tool. You don't need to knock that out? Uh, not really. But, I don't know. You want me to slowly knock it so it stays in the wood? Or, we can uh, put a... Yeah, try it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a scooter. We have a little thing. vapor barrier to come up see, and it'll be under the slab obviously and it'll come up this wall Excuse go me. over the top and then we'll use the acoustic sealant here and mm -hmm. staple it and then we can have the spray foam 
go not on top of the vapor barrier, but tie into the vapor barrier. That way we have our complete air envelope, air sealant envelope. Because if I would have just ran this up to the bottom of this, yeah. I don't think we would have got, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to get spray foam in there to make this seal good. So just thinking through those things before I do the whole building. And then have to redo it. Yeah. You think we're good where we're at? I think so. I wish we would have did these differently, or they would have, because there's so much wood right here, we're not gonna get any insulation hardly. Like, look at that. Well, that, it's like, yeah. I don't know, 12, 10, by fours. And there's not very much R value per inch of wood. What's R value? The R value is what they measure the insulation. I think it's a resistance to air movement or is what it stands for, I believe. But it's, that's just how they measure the insulation value or thickness. So we're just bringing this, the rigid foam to the top of the slab and then there'll be more foam underneath the slab that this will tie it. people don't use these correctly and I worked for a guy that if you had anything under 24 inches you better be using a framing square. Is that what that thing is called? Yeah. Most people would say or would say, grab your tape, measure it out, mark it, put your tape back on, Maybe. <laughs> line it up, There's square and then and you just use the tape that's on it. Ugh, you're so strong. Ah! <laughs> Needs to go down a little. Just in that far corner. Yes, you it's hard to get the dirt. It's so squishy. Come here, Mark. This is very precise. <clears throat> Be careful, not too tight. Not too tight. I guess that's good. <laughs> so. this thing open. Anyways, going to continue working on the foam board insulation in here today. I got a lot of it done yesterday, but I've still got a few pieces where the concrete um, from the um, post is really high, and so I'm gonna, I have to cut the foam board to go around the concrete um, in order to still maintain the same level. So I have a little bit left to do on this wall, that wall, all the way around the garage. And then I'm done with this project. And when the husband gets back from his work trip, he can backfill and we can finish <coughs> uh, tamping the dirt down and then we can do all of our roof and plumbing. You guys wanna see the baby birds? They're getting so big. I cannot believe how fast they grow. Whoa, move back it!
I want to know why it's always me that has to run the shovel. And it's 90 some degrees outside. If anyone wants to come finish this for me, I'll gladly take you up on that offer. My husband's tool bag is too big for me to wear, so I said I just have to carry it around with me the whole time. Putting washers on, otherwise the screws will go right through the insulation. Won't do us any good to have that happen. My official measuring stick here. So I am like 90% done with this insulation project. Um, I've got all this side done. Right through here. That's all done. I don't know what the plan is under the garage doors, so obviously I have to wait for that. This side's all done. I got most of this side of the house done. I have one chunk over here that I am not doing because if you recall from the end of earlier in the video, I accidentally scared the birdies out of their nest. And I don't think they're quite ready to be flying yet. They have been bouncing all over, but um, one of the birds is right here, one of the birdies. And I don't want to freak mom or baby out anymore. I've got this whole side done and then everything except for under the sliding glass doors right here because this is where the nest is and so I was hoping they could make their way back here. Um, so tomorrow we'll pick up right here and finish this one little chunk and this piece and then I will be 100% done. So. This is absolutely miserable work. I'm so close to being done, but it sucks. So Bo took the excavator and dug out a bunch of it already, but because of the framing, you can't really get under there enough to pull out um, to make the insulation foam board flat. And so I'm having to dig by hand and it is like, you know, it's already been built on top of, so the dirt is seriously tamped down. It's crazy rocky, and it is awful. Awful. I am hot and sweaty already, and it's only like 10 in the morning, and it's already almost 90 degrees, and I'm having to shovel by hand to finish laying this, and I'm so close to being done. Look, I've got this chunk, and then under the um, sliding glass doors right there. So I need to stop complaining and just do it, but this sucks. That's a wrap. It's the last piece. 